This Saul has seen better days. Can I save it? Well, we're going to try in the next few minutes. So let's take this thing apart and see if it's salvageable. What you have in front of you is an old Rockwell 368 power saw. This is one of the first saws that I had when I was uh, started construction over 50 years ago. Somebody's used this stall really hard. They've got the, the blade and stuff messed up here. I don't know if I can save it or not, but we're gonna try. Now let's just take it apart. Well, I can see right now that isn't where it's supposed to be. Let's take this off. Should be a spring in there, and there is. It's a little different than what I was expecting. But let's see how that's fastened. Okay, right there. see how that went. This one's probably similar. I think this is, nope, that's where that goes. So, okay, we got that off. Let's see if we can't get the uh, this little stop off. Yep, that turned off. And just take it apart here. The thing ran, but boy, did it run bad. It, uh, it's not supposed to run the way this one did. I see that right there, and I think that just pops out. It does. It's the spring for the guard. Keep the guard moving the way it's supposed to. Bearing in there. Grease cap back here. Put grease in there and you're supposed to be able to turn that. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get the base off. That should be fairly easy. Just open this up a little. Well, that isn't turning. You get something bigger on it. I don't want to break that. Need another pliers? I think this pliers here should be big enough. And this knob right here adjusts the tilt. Oh no, boy that didn't sound good. Oh, I thought I broke it there for a minute. I guess I didn't. And let's see if we can't turn this knob here without breaking it. Oh yeah. There we go. I'll take that loose. These were good old saws. They were very accurate. They ran and ran and ran. Uh, I'm not sure of the year on this one, but uh, it. Uh, Got some age to it. That's for sure. Everything is rusted up. We'll put that there, I guess. This there. Let's see if we can get the rest of this off now. Go ahead and grab that so we don't lose the washers. Probably have to replace them boaters. Okay, this has a Phillips screwdriver in the bottom of it.
Uh, sometimes this stuff can get tedious, but uh, I'll just take it apart here and clean everything up and make sure it's all lubricated. Make sure this base isn't bent. I don't believe I've ever totally disassembled one of these saws. Never really had to before. Boy, it's always the last screw that gets you the most trouble, isn't it? Oh. Whee. It's gonna come. I wonder if I could get some lubricant on that one. I am turning it some. I don't want to strip it out because I don't want to have to find another screw that's going to work. Let me go get you a little penetrating oil. Let's see if WD-40 does anything for it. Just a little bit in there. Let's see if it can, if it loosens or makes it its way in there. Okay, I'm going to have to bear down in this bugger. There she's coming. Yeah. Boy, that was a tough one. Isn't that the way it always is? The last screw gives you the most trouble. Yep, that's bent. A lot of times this is bent like that because you hit the saw or you drop it. But that's the case on that one. Let's see where we want to go next. Let's take the top of the handle off. See if these screws will come out. First one is. Maybe I ought to take the last one out next and it won't give me any trouble. That isn't really the way it works, is it? Mm, maybe it is, because that's really coming off hard now. And it is the last one. I'll tell you what, I wonder if I do that, if that makes a difference. And I'll let that set a minute. I'm going to put some here too. Here, here, and here. And we'll take this, the rest of this guard off because it looks like those screws will come out. And they do. I probably should be taking some pictures of this so I remember how it goes back together. I should take some pictures of it. Nah. We'll just do it. I'll guess. If I got extra screws, that, that don't matter. And we're done. Not too much anyway. Maybe it does a little. I don't know. What do you think? If we have extra screws, should that matter or not? This one looks like it's been replaced anyway. Doesn't look like that one. And this one looks like it's all chewed up. Might have to get something else in there to get that one loose. Nope, it's coming. Oh boy. First look at the motor. Looks like we got something broke right here. Yep, well. Nope, that's the way it's supposed to be. Okay. Looks pretty funny, doesn't it? it? Doesn't look like a saw anymore. Let's see if this handle will come off. At least the side of it. Yep, that's coming loose. Well, I hope I remember where some of these screws go. If I don't, we'll figure it out. 
They're just screws and metal and you know the thing about working on junk is you don't have to worry too much if you tear it up, if you ruin it. <laughs> what are you out anyway? I don't want to really restore this saw. What I'm going to do is just clean it up and make sure that everything works the way it's supposed to. Hopefully. Okay, switch works. There's the cords. How is that in there? I believe that should pop right out of there, maybe. I don't know. I don't want to break anything. And I'm going to have to replace the cord. So we're going to have to figure out how that's hooked up. Now, when it comes to this wiring, I'm definitely going to take some pictures unless I can get that out of there intact. What's holding it anyway? Ah, I, sp I spotted it. There's a little bolt right here. There we go. See? I'll take that right out of there now and we'll put that back in where it was. And see now that's all intact. We do have this one. That should come right out of there and it does. Now let's see if this moves. It moved. It moved. Can get that in my wire wheel and get it all cleaned up and it'll go back together easier. Okay, what do we have here now? We have these two wires here. And those two wires right there. Picture time. Well, I've got some pictures. Now I feel like I can take it apart. And hopefully, I'll remember how it went back together. You know, I'm not very good at wiring. So let's get this one off too. We're going to pull that motor apart then. Okay, those go to that direction. Now we're separate. Now this, I'll take a picture of this. We can tell where it went easy enough. And the ground there. Easy enough. So we'll take those off. I looked on eBay, Ebby Bay, and they have parts for these saws if I should need some. But I have plenty of cords, so I don't think I need that. What I may need is, I don't know, maybe this nut right here. That is not supposed to look like that. And that's one of the first things that you lose too, unfortunately. And then there's a piece missing that goes over the blade. It's, it's a real fat specialized washer made just for this saw. I don't know that other saws would interchange with it. There's always that chance, but uh, I've, I've torn a lot of saws apart, but 
mostly when the motors have burned up, not when, when it looks like this. What happened to that other screw right there? I don't want to lose those. Okay, I'm put the switch right over there and we'll grab these screws and we will leave them with this handle. We'll get that out of there now. Yep, got one more to take out. I see the, the ground. Hey, uh, yeah, this saw is all metal. I kid you not. There's plastic here, but all of this is metal. Everything about it is metal. So if something would short out on this old saw and you were standing in water, I think you'd light up and sing like the Hallelujah Chorus. You see this right there? That cord is shot. And I have more cords, so we'll set that right there. I have these here, should go into here from the other side. So we'll put them in there, so I keep track of where they went. Okay, now we've got all of this disassembled. Got this little lever to take off here. I don't know if I can do that or not, but let's see. Everything's doggone rusty and it comes apart hard. Yep, it's coming off. This tail here is what you grab to move the, the saw guard if you want to hold it back. It's the guard lever. But uh, this one, usually those are bent up a little bit, but this one isn't. But it is rusty. Doggone saw has seen a lot of hard work, but it is relatively still in pretty good shape as long as that motor holds up. I don't know if these saws would still meet OSHA standards on a commercial job. I just don't know. It might. If you had everything wired up the way it's supposed to. Oh, something else you need to know. You see this cord? They used to be a lot longer than that, so somebody's cut that cord over years, and that happens easy. You don't really want to ask me how I know that. Well, you're right. We'll take this grease cap off. And they don't make them like that anymore either, where you put grease in there and that pushes in on that bearing and you can actually grease your bearing. By the way, these saws were not throwaway saws either. Here a few years ago, I bought me one of them really nice Milwaukee saws and it was expensive and I Gave it to the guys and he took it out in a job. That thing didn't even last me a year. They brought it back and said, Marvin, this doesn't work. And I guess they didn't realize you're not supposed to push it so hard. And especially with a dull blade, but uh, they burned that thing up so bad it wasn't even funny. Right there's what you got to be careful of. That bearing's still in good shape, but that gear doesn't have a lot of good grease in it. So you can see how caked up that grease is. It's pretty hard. It wasn't doing much anymore. So that would have been the reason why this thing was making noise. So I wonder if I could stop right there, or should I take it further? We'll take this off yet. Oh, maybe. I guess we won't. 
What the heck? Okay. I think we'll pull the brushes out and see what they look like. Yeah, these saws had replaceable brushes in them. You uh, changed them right here. That's about half there yet, so we're good with that one. And we're good there. Now the new cordless stuff has um, brushless motors. Let's take this plastic cap off. That would be these right there. Manufactured by Rockwell. I'm not sure if this will actually pop off of there or not. It does. That just needs a good cleaning, and that's good to go. And this, this, boy, that sure spins nicely yet. Okay. I'm going to put a little schmutz on this, because I really do need to get that loose. We'll let that set a minute. Let's pull the rest of this motor apart. because I want to clean it up in there. Somebody used this saw on concrete cutting and quite honestly, it's not designed to do that. They get a little old. You don't care much for them anymore, care about them. So you grab the oldest saw you got in your shelf. If you got a little cutting to do and you use it. But what you don't realize is this thing sucks air in around that motor and it doesn't have an air cleaner on it like regular saws do that um, are designed to cut concrete. So you suck all that concrete dust right up inside this electric motor and that gets caked up in there and then you got a heck of a mess. Now, well, that fell right off. Where'd that come from? Oh, yeah, right here. Right there, remember? I couldn't get it out from the back side. Set that right there. Let's see if this here turns yet. See if I can get it to move. Oh, one last try. It moved a little. It's moving. Oh boy. Let's just work it a little now. Maybe I can get some smuts in there again. You know, I'm not as strong as I used to be by any sense of the word. To get stuff like this out without tearing the head up, it's hard. I'm gonna let that set just a bit yet. Wow. Yeah, I say, well, okay. Theoretically, this thing should pop apart. Let me just bump it a little bit. Yep, it opened up just a hair. Let's get a screwdriver in right here. That opened up. I don't know. Something else holding it.
the bearing right there, and that might be my hold up. I don't know. I don't want to pry too hard and tear something up. And this should just pop out, I would think. But I don't know. Oh, there she comes. There we go. There's the motor. That feels like it's got just a little kink in there. But that bearing there is not bad. I think we can get it oiled up without messing with it. And all of that looks good. So we are to the point where we can blow this out. Okay, let me lay this stuff all out for you so you can see what we have here. Basically, basically what I'm going to do is just clean all this stuff up and put it back together. You can see how dirty this is. I mean, it's really dirty and, well, for crying out loud, I might as well start with the hardest part first. And what I'm going to do is just take it over to my sink here, get the greaser and just clean everything all up. Once I get it all cleaned up, I will bring you back in and show it to you. Man, what have I got myself into again here? It's a lot of work just for an old junk saw, isn't it? Well, let's get to it. Well, with this particular video, and the length that it's getting, we're going to call this part one of two parts. I've disassembled this saw, and I hope you enjoyed this. I do have part two coming up soon, so stay tuned. If you like videos like this, I would encourage you to watch this video right here. Can it be fixed? We're going to find out in part two. Can you fix it? You're darn right you can fix it. Until the next time.